Well, hello, my friends, hello. We're going to talk real slow. Just kidding. Anyway, so the Silver Consortium has uh, struck again. Yeah. Monthly, monthly, I get these little nice semi numismatic bullion purchases. Yeah. And every month I like to share these with you so that you can get one going at your workplace. Yeah. So you get a bunch of like-minded people and you place an order and you save money because you buy in bulk, you get more coins for less. You get together and you all order under the same order, same name. So it's got to be somebody you trust. And you get, you know, you buy 20 of these or 40 of these. And then everybody gets their allotment. My allotment happened to be three. So what are they? Well, they are Australian. This is Queen Elizabeth II. It's a one dollar. It's a one Aussie dollar. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's a koala bear. Koala bear. I don't know what kind of noise koalas make. I'm sure it's disgusting noise because they're disgusting animals. But they sure look cute, don't they? Um, now, what you'll notice here, four nines. Yeah. Four magical nines. So if you wanted to make colloidal silver... You probably want a four niner. It doesn't really matter as long as it's fine silver, but dang, that extra point nine marketing gimmick is still useful for something. And that would be what it'd be useful for. Um, the amount of silver difference between this and a point nine 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 is so minuscule it doesn't even it it doesn't matter. It doesn't register. You would have to buy so much for it to matter that quite frankly, yeah. It, it's it's not going to be a thing. Um, but I did get these, all three, four. And uh, they came in flips. So that's nice, right? We like flips. Uh, most of this stuff doesn't come in flips. So I paid $88.59 for these. I don't even know if that's a good deal. Um, but since it's part of the consortium, I go ahead and pay it. Um, and then I buy my own silver, of course, separately, as you guys have seen in the videos. But this gives me a nice outlet to get into the semi-numismatic game because it's not the kind of stuff I buy. If you go on eBay, for example, I buy a lot of silver from eBay. Um, if I didn't work six, 60 to 70 hours a week, a good week would be 50 hours. Um... I might be able to get out and do face-to-face -face deals, but that's just not the case. So I have to sit like a fat cat and pay premiums out the yin-yang um, if I wanted this kind of stuff. Because you go on eBay right now, or the big sites, uh, you're not going to find any deals. There's no deals. The stuff, it, the premiums are like 30%. It's, it's just absurd. So... I can't buy in enough bulk to get any kind of good deals. If I see something on sale, I might get it. But, you know, honestly, the truth is, and, and we're talking about me an awful lot instead of you guys, which I don't generally do. But uh, the truth is, is that unless you're buying this stuff in bulk and there's a deal, it's, it's, not, it's not ideal. And that's why I don't have a lot of... Um, 0.999% silver because quite frankly my heart is in the junk the Canadian junk the Austrian junk the US junk actual circulated silver coins I find the best deals that way I find the, you know the lowest premiums that way I get stuff under melt you know, it's it's few and far between these days. So I get stuff under melt. I've never, ever 
ever got a brand new coin like this under melt. Well, I won't say never ever. There, are, of course, I have, but it's very rare. It's even rarer than the the stuff, you know, the junk stuff. I can get cap bus dimes at melt. That was a once in a lifetime deal there, but um, I promise you, as a, on a coin per coin basis, I have more cap bus dimes under melt than I do um, this fine silver. So that's my my take on it, and you know, if you want generic rounds that that's probably the way to go with the 0.99 stuff i don't have i have even fewer generic rounds than i do this and the only reason i have any of this is because of our our monthly consortium at work um honestly that this is like 29 dollars an ounce i i don't generally pay 29 dollars an ounce for silver now, that's not to say that that in, you know, five, ten years, I'm not going to be very happy with this purchase. And the reason, the main reason I'm into this is because one of these days I'm going to trade the GSR. When the GSR hits 30, I'm coming in with all this crap right here because a pawn shop's not going to want my 90% junk. They're not going to want my foreign coins. That's all uh, SHTF right there. Okay, that's my... Uh, silver is silver. We need silver because it has intrinsic value. This, I'm buying for a swap. And quite honestly, the more I think about this, the more I need to be buying generic rounds. So I'm going to push that at the next meeting of the consortium because I need at least 30 generic rounds when uh, the GSR hits 30. <laughs> you hear me? Um... So, well, it'd be nice to have an ounce of gold. I mean, that's an unattainable dream at this point. But there is a way, guys. Your silver stackers, I'm going to get into this real quick. There is a way for you to stack this stuff on the cheap and then flip it for gold. Okay? And it's called trading the GSR. That's the gold to silver ratio. And pawn shops, coin shops, bullion dealers, they will trade with you. And... Um, shout out to uh, some of the channels I've watched on YouTube. They've, there are actual YouTube channels that actually make calls and ask about this. They ask about a swap. And what generally you find is, is it's it, a lot of times it's a one-to-one, -one, or well, not one-to-one, -one, but it's, it's whatever the ratio is, swap. There's, there's no taxes. There's none of this. It's, oh, well, the GSR is X. We're going to uh, we're going to trade it at X, and you know the reason for that is, is because these people, these coin shops, these pawn shops, they make their money on the margins, they make their money on the premiums. I mean, they make their money on a per transaction basis, kind of like Walmart. Walmart, you know, you get stuff cheap there, but they they sell a lot of stuff. Okay, that's the secret sauce. So, come here, Evie. Come here. Look, it's a shiny. Evie, it's a shiny. Look. It's a shiny. It's a shiny. You like shinies. Do you want the shiny? Do you want the shiny? Go on. Come and get it. Anyway, Walmart makes us money off uh, the transactions. Anyway, Eva's here, but she's... Oh, there she goes. Yep. <laughs> That's a shiny. I knew, I knew she could. Yep. She could. So if we... Uh, I think it's the reflection off the table. You see that? But she loves playing with her shinies. Yep. All right. So, um, yeah. Walmart makes its money off transactions, and transactions are the key. Um, it's the same thing with these bullion dealers. So you get a pawn shop, coin store... These people are making, you know, a buck or two per transaction. So they love silver. Silver is king for them because it's more transactions. People come in buying silver. First of all, if the GSR is that low, that means silver is either really high or everything's really low. But they're going to make some money um, selling silver when that GSR gets low. And they're going to be happy to take all your silver off your hands and not have to pay taxes on it. Not have to pay money because you're trading. It's a swap. 
So anyway, I just want to talk about that. And uh, you guys have an amazing day. Uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Um, if you like koalas and eucalyptus, this is the coin for you. I kind of like the, the lettering. It, I don't know. It's quite honestly, this coin isn't my favorite. But you might love it. And I hope you do. I uh, hope you find all the miniatures and collectibles and knick-knack paddywhacks of your dreams while you're awake.